Hello guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a very easy makeup tutorial for a video conference. I think that when all of us are working, it is so important looking our best, especially because we are going to feel very confident about it. I hope guys you enjoy it, let's get into it. The first thing that I'm going to do are my brows. I'm going to be using this pencil, it is from NYX, it is the Precision Brow Pencil. The shade is the PBP05 Espresso. These eyebrows are ready. Next, I'm going to conceal my eyelids. I'm going to be using my Blue Beauty Blender and also this spray from Physicians Formula. I don't really like using concealers. I'm using a lighter foundation than my actual skin tone. But uh, I do that because I feel it works for me better than the concealer. You can always use the concealer if you prefer. Let's apply the eyeshadows. I'm going to start with this shade. It's going to go right in my crease. I think the better way to apply the eyeshadows are with circular motions, especially when you are working your crease. The next eyeshadow is going to be this one right here. I have to be honest guys, I'm using this powder concealer palette. This powder contour palette is from Kaki Cosmetics. It is really good, very affordable. I highly recommend it. I want you to see how beautiful this shade looks like i really love it guys honestly you don't need to have a thousand eyeshadows to create beautiful makeup looks because whatever powder that you have works from my sephora palette i'm going to be using this brown shade this shade is going to go right in my crease Let me show you how my eyes look like. If you can see, I blended everything out very well and you can see how beautiful all the shades are diffused. The next step is creating a cut crease. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to apply 
a little bit of this foundation it is the one that I used in the beginning of the video and I'm going to place it on my lids this technique is very tricky guys so when you do it add little by little don't add a lot of concealer or foundation because your makeup can look very heavy and it won't look really nice so take always your time and like i said add foundation little by little and diffuse everything out For this makeup look, I'm going to use some pink mints. I have these are from NYX Professional Makeup. The um, pink mint that I have it is the PIG06. I'm not using any kind of glue because my foundation still wet then i can add easily the pigments on my eyelids I'm going to be using this eyeshadow again and I'm going to apply it in these areas. Also, I'm going to use this same shade as an eyeliner. Once it is there, I'm going to diffuse it. Moving to the eyeliner, this time I'm going to go for a little tiny eyeliner. I'm applying some mascara. After that, I'm going to apply my eyelashes. I don't use any tools to apply my eyelashes the only thing that I do is that I look straight at the mirror and I put it on my eyes. Let's do the foundation part. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to apply some of this lighter foundation that I have. If you have a concealer or you like using concealers, do it.
the next product that I'm going to use is this one right here it is from black radiance it is the true complexion custom concealer I really love this pigment because it really does its job the um, formula is amazing also I feel they have the perfect shades for my skin tone also I feel this product is really good if you are trying to get a medium to heavy coverage it works um, they have different shades you can find it in every drugstore and it is very affordable Then I'm done applying the concealers. Let's diffuse everything. I'm going to be doing this while I'm applying my foundation. I'm using the Skin Perfect HD Foundation from Kaki Cosmetics. The shade that I'm using is 30C. I've been using this foundation since I saw it for first time I tried it that was around four years ago and I really love it guys because the formula is not really heavy and it covers very very well I always take very long doing this process because I like blending everything out very well also I feel that when you really take your time doing this part your face looks very different and better I sometimes feel that I don't even wear any makeup because it doesn't feel like I have it everything goes into the skin let's continue with the powdery contours I'm going to be using this shade and I'm going to add it right here this powdery contour palette is from Kaki Cosmetics I love it so much because it is affordable the formula is amazing and also I feel it has a really good quality for the price that you pay so um, I really recommend it I'm going to be adding some blush Next, I'm going to be adding some powder. This is going to help me to keep everything in place. With the leftovers that I have in this brush, I'm going to be contouring my nose. I know your nose looks beautiful, but this is a really good opportunity for you to make it look better.
let's add some highlighter the highlighter is a really good element if you are trying to look fresh Moving to the lips, I'm going to be combining these two lipsticks. This one is from Estelari. This is a solid lipstick. Then I'm going to add some of this gloss lipstick. I really like this one a lot because it is kind of red but not too bright and at the same time has some glitters that really make your lips look very attractive. This is the final look guys. It is all done but I really need to do a better job with my hair because it doesn't look nice so give me a minute and I'll be right back hello lovely people this is the final look now you and me are ready for the zoom meeting conference or just a video call I encourage you to try this makeup look it is very easy it's not going to take you so long I promise you also I think this makeup look is going to become your lifesaver because this is for any kind of situation where you have to look nice fresh professional but at the same time not overdo your makeup I hope guys you try this makeup tutorial out if you do let me know on the comments leave your like and subscribe thank you guys for watching me see you in my next one